and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. We have a very interesting topic from a viewer today on members confined to a nursing home. Her email reads, Miss Vicki, could you please shed some light on the question? I have an applicant who wants to live here. Her husband is in a nursing home and will stay there due to the care that he needs. She gets his social security check in her bank account, which has his and her name on it. She also receives a social security check deposited into that account with only her name. Question is, do I count his and her whole amounts or half of his and all of hers? Diane. Well, Diane, these are good questions and there are several ways to look at it. First, I would ask you, why would you only count half of his income? I've never seen it split 50-50 before. With that being said, even if you have dependents the, that receive Social Security, the Social Security check always follows the person that it's intended to, the person that it's written for. So remember that. So let's look at your situation. First of all, I'd ask you, is he listed on the lease? If he's listed on the lease, you have to count all of his income. Secondly, is he not lift, listed on the lease? If he's not listed on the lease, you don't have to count any of his income. And you will find this in Chapter 5. We've put up a, a note for you to go to the paragraph and look at it, and it tells you what to do if you have a person who's confined to a nursing home. Is he going to be a permanent resident at the nursing home? If it is evident that he will be in a nursing home for a long period of time, a year or longer, then you can remove him from the lease and the 5-9. And when he's released from the nursing home, you can do an IR and put him back on the lease and the 5-9. That's the way that I would tell you to count it. That way you will only have to count her income and not have to be bothered with his income at all. Because more than likely, he does have to pay something to the nursing home. And that's probably why you're confused over to whether or not to count half of it, because some goes to the nursing home. She does have income separate from his, so you would only count the income that she receives. And remember that bank accounts are owned jointly according to the 4350, and you need to divide them accordingly. Hopefully that helps you. And if you need anything else, just give me a call at Navigate. Thank you so much for your question, Diane. And thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll see you next week for another Tuesday Tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.